Hi, and welcome back to Catrin Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today is the day of all days. It's New Comic Book Wednesday, which can only mean one thing. I've got my pull box for you guys. So, like always, it's my normal fat stack. Yeah, I, I read a lot of comics. It's an issue. So, first off, let's start off with DC, shall we? First, I picked up Batwoman issue three, so I'm loving Batwoman, love the cover, good pickup. Next I picked up Flash issue 22, this is probably one of the comics everyone's hunting for right now, it's the lenticular cover, and it is the finale of the Button storyline, it is part four, so look out for the review of that. Yes, I picked up a second one, because one of them I'm probably going to have slabbed and the other one's probably going to be for reading. So, you know. Next, I picked up Trinity, issue 9. Trinity, to me, is what Justice League should be. And, speak of the devil, we have Justice League, issue 21. It, it's got great art. The writing's not that great. But the art's fantastic. So, you know. Next, I picked up Harley Quinn, issue 20. I love the Connor cover. As always, Harley is so much fun. I also picked up the show cover of Harley Quinn. I love it. She's got kittens in it with her. And she's wearing her classic costume, so great cover. Next is Green Arrow, issue 23. I love Arsenal, so you know I had to pick this up loves me an arsenal cover next is batman issue 23 the brave and the mold so excited about that next is aquaman issue 23 i picked up the variant cover i love his variant covers right now they're so beautiful to me so definitely had to pick it up i'm surprised not more not more people are interested in the variant covers of aquaman right now I don't know. I think I feel like they're a lot of fun. Next, I picked up Superman issue 23. I picked up the variant. I liked it more than the original. The original was just John falling. So, you know, Superman also been a great read. Next is Nightwing issue 21. Wally West is on it. I liked it. Sorry if my voice is cracking. I'm a little sick, so, you know. Next, I picked up Teen Titans issue 8, so this is the continuation of the Lazarus contract. This is the main cover. I like the fact that we get to see both teams together and Deathstroke in the background. I also picked up the connecting cover of the Lazarus contract. Because, <coughs> you know, it's amazing. A lot of work went into that. Next, I picked up Super Sons issue 4, so I liked the main cover. Also, Super Sons has been a great read for me, so definitely suggest it. Next, I picked up Justice League Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 4. <coughs> Sorry. Next, from Vertigo, I picked up Lucifer issue 18. Next, from Boom Studios, I picked up Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 15. I've really been enjoying the run of the Power Rangers currently. If you're a fan of the classic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV show, you're going to love this series. It's fantastic. The first trade's already out. Pick it up if you're not currently reading it. It's great. Next, from Wildstorm, I picked up the Wildstorm issue 4. I picked up the Jim Lee cover, so pretty great. Next, on to Marvel. I picked up Generation X number 1. <coughs> Hmm. X-Men Gold issue 4 I love this cover 
I mean, Gambit, my gosh. You look awesome in that cover, Gambit. Next, I picked up Secret Empire Issue 2, which I'm sure will surprise a lot of people that have actually been enjoying a Marvel event. I really, I really was on the fence with the Zero Issue, but I loved the first one, and then I loved the free comic book day one. So, you know, Issue 2. You definitely still have my money, Marvel. Surprisingly. Now, on to the indies. So, first off, I picked up Dynamite Comics, Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, The Big Lie, Issue 3. So, this reads like a classic Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys book. So much fun. <coughs> Fantastic. Pick it up if you haven't already. Check out the trade when it comes out. It's going to be awesome. Next, from Image Comics, I picked up Curse Words, Issue 5. I've been enjoying it. Um, I still don't like the way the villains are written in this, but I like Wizard and I love Margaret, so you still got my money. Next is Royal City, Issue 3. Fun read. Pretty serious. Next from Dynamite is Red Sonia issue 5. Yeah, she's right there if you can't see her. Really, really small. Next, I picked up God Country issue 5. God Country's been fantastic read it if you are not already. It is awesome. Next, from Image, uh, Margaret Finch's Rose, issue two. I like the cover. Look out for the review of it. Next, from Aftershock Comics, is Animosity, issue seven. Been a fun read. I'm not really a fan of this cover but it's been a great read. Oh, and uh, probably the comic that I was the most excited about that I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to get my hands on. Um, so, uh, Ken Shu Chung came back to my local shops because his brand new book just got released today. So that is Street Fighter vs. Darkstalkers issue 1. So I picked up both the A and B cover and I got them both signed. So. <coughs> Sorry about that. Really excited to read this. Really excited. Cannot wait. So yeah, that was my pull box. So give me a like if you like this video, comment below and tell me some of the cool new things that you picked up at your local shop or if you'd be interested in seeing a review of any of these single issues. Subscribe to my channel for more comic book content or check out any of the older videos I, I have up for offer here on Catrun Figures. And until next time, I'm your host Caitlin. Bye.